Hello, home learners. Welcome to Mr. Donald's channel, Home Learning Heroes, because while you're at home, you can learn like a hero. Today, we're going to be looking at a big book. We'll read together so you and I can read even though we're both in our homes. Today, the book I've chosen is A Tale of Two Turtles. It sounds like a fun one. At home, I want you to read with me. We're going to read it two times. The first time will be slow, and we'll look at the content words and understand what the story is all about. The second time, I want you to practice reading it with fluency. We're going to be faster and more energy in our voice. So, if you're ready, we shall begin. On your screen, you might see a little red dot. Let's see if I can make my dot. There it is. Here's my little red dot. That's going to help you follow the words, and I'll put it where I'm reading so you know at home. All right, let's begin. The title of the story, A Tale of Two Turtles. And then I, in the picture, I see two turtles. But I want you to think about how do they feel. Look at their expressions. Hmm, something's not right. Let's go on. All right. Read with me. It is winter. Tim Turtle and Tammy Turtle are sad. They are always cold and hungry. Tim and Tammy are running away. They are looking for some food. And you see these little bubbles coming out of their head? Bloop, 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 bloop. That tells me that they're thinking of something. And there's a picture. I think it's food. They see a big black dog. It is also cold and hungry. It needs some food. That's a pretty scary dog. I wouldn't want to see it. Where are Tim and Tammy? I can see that there's a line right across the middle. That means there's picture one and picture two. They are in different places. Take a look and see this word here, Turtle Park. Tammy is in Turtle Park, but down here it's a different place, Wetland. I see that Tim is in Wetland. They're not in the same place. Tammy is writing a postcard to Tim. It is spring. Do you know what a postcard is? It's like mail. You put it through the post and you write a little message to somebody, maybe a friend. And you can write about a place that you're visiting, maybe some place that you are, and you tell them all about it. So Tammy is going to write a little postcard and put it in this mailbox and send it to Tim. There's our mailbox. Let's look inside and see what postcard she wrote. She has a picture on one side. It's the picture of Turtle Park. And on the other side is the postcard. You can see we have the person that we're, we're going to write to. Hi, Tim. Down at the bottom, we have who it's from, Tammy. And on this side, we have the address. Where should they send it to? And of course, you need a stamp so the postman will deliver it. Let's read the postcard together. Hi, Tim. How are you? I live in a big park. It has a nice pond and many green trees. It also has many flowers. I like swimming in the pond with the turtles and fish. I miss you and I want to see you. Let's meet soon. Where can I come visit you? From Tammy. And she's going to send that to Mr. Tim at Wetland in Hong Kong. Let's read the next page. Tim is waiting for the mail. The mail comes every Tuesday and Friday. I see the mailman is coming with the letter right there, the postcard, because it is Tuesday already. 
Wow, look at that. How does Tim feel in this picture? I can see there's little hearts by him. He must be very happy. Tim is writing to Tammy. If someone sends you a postcard, maybe you could send one back to them. Let's look in the mailbox and see what Tim wrote. On the front is a picture, but this picture is of wetland. That's where Tim is. And on the back, we have the postcard writing. Again, at the top, you write the name of the person you're talking to. Hi, Tammy. At the bottom, you write who you are from Tim. And then over here is the address. This time it's to Miss Tammy at Turtle Park in Hong Kong. And don't forget your stamp or they won't send it. Let's read the postcard together. Ready? Hi, Tammy. Thank you for the postcard. I live in a wetland. It's very big. It has many trees. It also has a lot of grass. I like sitting in the sun. I miss you too. Let's get together. Come to visit me in summer. So now we have a meeting time. Let's read. Tammy is reading the postcard from Tim. How does Tammy feel after getting the postcard? I see more hearts. Hmm. Tammy is going to visit Tim. She is excited. Remember before the bubbles? Bloop, bloop, bloop. It means what she's thinking. And look at Tim. He's wearing a suit and has flowers. Ooh. Tim is cleaning his house. Well, if you're going to have someone come visit you, I think you should probably clean your house. Do you know all the things that Tim is doing to clean his house? He has a list here of things he needs to get and jobs to do. Do you ever do that at your house? I think you probably can. Tammy is looking for Tim. Where is Tim? Do you see him? I do. Bing! Ah, they found each other. Let's read. They are together now. And look at all the hearts. Ooh wee! What a beautiful photo. Looks like they went to do something together. What are they doing in the photo? Having dinner. Yeah. All right. Here is a list of the content words from our story and some high frequency words, which I think you already know. I want you to pause the video and read all these words. See if there's any you don't know and ask for some help. All right. Now we're going to go back and this time we're going to read it again, but we're going to read it for fluency. That means we're going to read it faster and with a little bit more energy. So we'll go all the way back to the beginning and let's read now. A Tale of Two Turtles. It is winter. Tim Turtle and Tammy Turtle are sad. They are always cold and hungry. Tim and Tammy are running away. They are looking for some food. They see a big black dog. It is also cold and hungry. It needs some food. Where are Tim and Tammy? Tammy is writing a postcard to Tim. It is spring. Hi Tim, how are you? I live in a big park. It is nice. It has a nice pond and many green trees. It also has many flowers. I like swimming in the pond with the turtles and fish. I miss you and I want to see you. Let's meet soon. When can, you, when can I come visit you? From Tammy. Tim is waiting for the mail. The mail comes every Tuesday and Friday. Tim is writing to Tammy. Hi Tammy, thank you for the postcard. I live in wetland. It's very big. It has many trees. It also has a lot of grass. I like sitting in the sun. I miss you too. Let's get together. Come to visit me in summer. 
from Tim. Tammy is reading the postcard from Tim. Tammy is going to visit Tim. She is excited. Tim is cleaning his house. Tammy is looking for Tim. Where is Tim? They are together now. What a beautiful photo. Good job, everyone. Now, let's take a look and see if we can do our orientation. That means the who, the when, and the where. Do you remember who was in the story? There were two turtles, weren't there? Tim and ah, Tammy. When was it? I think it was spring, and then she was going to visit in summer. And where are they? Well, there's two places. I think Tim lives in a wetland, and Tammy lives in a park. That's our orientation. Now, what events happened? Go back through the story. Do you remember what happened in the story? I think that they ran away because they were hungry and they were in different places. And then they wrote postcards to one another and they decided to visit each other. Next is, what is the problem? Huh? Well, there are two problems, I think. One, they were hungry and they needed to find a new place to live. And two, they couldn't be with each other. One went one direction and the other went the other direction. So they weren't together and that's a problem. At the end, how does it end? We call that the resolution. How does the story end? Well, I think they found each other by sending each other postcards and then they were together at last. All right, well done boys and girls. I would like to see you again. Come back and visit me and we'll read another big book together. Go back through and see if you can read it just like Mr. Donald. Until next time, goodbye.